So uh, do we need to have any kind of research background? So I did my master there. I mean, but it was most of more of a coursework oriented, get the credits, get the degree. That's it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I know people who kind of did research based programs. They are kind of more favorable to apply for EB one way because they have the background already. So they might already did some kind of citations and publications in, you know, like during their um, during their master's or PhD. So if someone coming from a coursework background, I mean, do, do you think like they have to put in relatively more effort and what I mean, is, is that like doable in the first place? Uh, because uh, I did my master's in kind of IT and big data and then basically started working as a data analyst, transitioning more into kind of technical project management role now. So I don't have any prior research, <laughs> research experience uh, to kind of uh, say that. So, yeah, I mean, in terms of efforts, like what am I looking at? So you don't need to have a PhD or any sort of research background to qualify for the EB1A. I didn't have any research background and most people who come to the Smart Living Cut program do not have, in fact, 97% probably do not have a research background themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, the, but people kind of have this misconception that you need, you can only write papers if you have a research background. That is not true. You can write papers if you have any sort of expertise at all. And if you have expertise in the in the industry, if you have like some history, whatever it is of working in a certain industry, then uh, you can take elements from that and like write papers. It doesn't need to be research papers. It can be like different types of literature, you know, papers. Uh, and uh, you can publish. So it's not necessary. It's not like an inferred fact that you can only publish papers if you have a research background. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we don't even force people to become researchers or like, mm -hmm. you know, introduce them to a certain topic of research or anything like that, um, mm -hmm. especially if they have like a, a decent career history, maybe mm. a year or two years at the at the least. What we do is we try to tap into all the impact that they've delivered previously in their industry itself mm -hmm. uh, and then use that as the central part of what we build their profile from. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah.